there. So there you have it. Those that voted to remain in the EU will smugly tell you that they knew what they were voting for and the Leavers were too ill-informed, ignorant and thick to know what they wanted. Even more than a year after the historic vote to leave the EU, the Ramoners are still claiming that Leavers did not know what they were voting for. Well, let's put that little charge of theirs under the microscope, shall we? Let's start with that old chestnut, the EU army. Do you remember when that arch-remainer, Nick Clegg, stood on the stage with Nigel Farage and said that the UKIP leader's assertion that the EU was working towards its own army was wrong and it was a dangerous folly to make that claim? Well, no longer was the EU referendum result in than the EU ambition for an army was pushed into the general limelight and it's become clearer every day since. We on the Leave side knew this was coming. Those on the Remain side did not. That means the Remainers did not know what they were voting for. The Remain side believed David Cameron when he came back from his European travels with what he portrayed as a golden renegotiated ticket that would get us into some sort of Willy Wonka world. It was all smoke and mirrors that the Remain side took as gospel, but in reality there had been no meaningful renegotiation. We on the Leave side understood this, the Remain voters did not, so obviously they didn't know what they were voting for. How about George Osborne's claim that the economy would tank straight after a vote to leave and that within a month we would have to have an emergency budget to save the nation from destitution? We on the Leave side knew this was utter nonsense, but those on the Remain side lapped it up and voted accordingly. Did we have an emergency budget? No. That means those on the Remain side did not know what they were voting for. Do you remember claims of Armageddon the instant the ink was dry on your referendum ballot paper? The Remain side soaked it up like dutiful EU blotting paper they are. Once again, the Remain voters did not know what they were voting for. How about claims that London Stock Exchange would go into meltdown? It didn't. We on the Leave side knew it wouldn't, but the Remain voters did not know what they were voting for. How about the claim that the slide in the value of the pound is due to the Brexit vote, when in actual fact sterling has been suffering in a bear market since mid-2014? Do you remember the Remain side claiming that the EU does not write laws for us? Now it's turning out that we need to put about 20,000 EU laws into UK law so that we can maintain the legal status quo after leaving before then changing it in the years to come. The Remain voters did not know that a vote to stay in the EU just meant more stifling EU legislation over which we have no control. And then there's the left-right conundrum. Right-wing Remainers voted for a corporatist, business-driven EU, despite being subjected to ever more Brussels red tape. And those on the left voted for a workers' rights and socialist EU, completely missing the point that nationalising services and membership of the EU are totally incompatible. Both sides thought they could change the EU into their image forever. Neither those on the left or the right of the Remain side understood the true nature of the EU. Therefore, once again, they did not know what they were voting for. The Remainers are also screeching about the single market, claiming that no one knew we would have to leave it, when in reality it was a central plank of the Remain fear-mongering argument. Leave the EU and we'll have to leave the single market and sink into oblivion, they all shouted. Actually, there is a part of this that we all do agree on. A vote to leave the EU was definitely a vote to leave the single market and customs union. So let's stick to it, shall we? But worst of all, many on the Remain side thought they were voting for some sort of status quo. That the EU was now set in stone and nothing more would change. They stuck to this thought even in the face of a power-hungry EU where the answer to every failure is we must have more Europe. The EU was never going to stay the same as it is today. It is always looking to take more power and erode democracy further. 
We on the Leave side have always recognised this, but the Remainers did not. Once again, the Remain voters did not know what they were voting for. And on the Leave side, all we want is true UK determination to take the country in the direction that the voters of the day want, come rain or shine. With all that in mind, it is obvious that only the Leave side really knew what they wanted and really knew what they were voting for. Now, did you know what you were voting for? Please leave a comment below. Thank you. Please do like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing, please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. Thank you very much for watching.